Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk with me. Never too busy for you, Lisa. With so much going on, how do you find time to enjoy life? You know, every day I get to do what I love. I'm, I'm just so lucky to get the opportunity to make films. All the hours and hard work are worth it. I first met Paul on set in Los Angeles. I've never seen Paul work so hard in all of his life. He had a great screen presence. When I heard Paul was cast in The Force of Destiny, I was shocked because I never, I've never heard of him. He was some new up-and-comer. After that first day of filming, I told Paul he was going to be the star of this film. He was so talented. And I thought I was talented, but he made me look like an amateur. How was working on the set with Paul? Well, let's just say we had a lot of fun. So I'm here on set of my new film, Forces of Destiny. And I'd like to share with you my experiences so far. I can only say, life-changing. I've had so much fun working with the cast and the crew. Forces of Destiny was huge. It launched Paul into the stratosphere. That was the film that got her attention. When Paul's movie came out, it was crazy. Uh, he became famous overnight, and to everyone else, you know, it just seemed like he was living the life. But for those of us that loved him, we could tell he was scared and overwhelmed of all the attention. And one question on everyone's mind, especially the women. Oh, do you know what I'm going to say? I've got an idea. Well, is there one special woman in your life? I actually just met someone last week. When I met Paul, it was at the charity event in New York. He was at a table with a bunch of children making them laugh. And my heart just melted. He was so sweet and funny. He uh, came up to me and I could tell he was nervous, uh, but all he did was make me laugh once and I could tell that he was something special. She sounds like one lucky lady. Trust me, I'm the lucky one. It was about a week after his interview with Lisa that he got the news about his mother. Here we are outside St. John's Hospital in Chicago where Paul Sabin's mother is being treated for cancer. We've been told Paul has arrived to be by his mother's side. Our prayers are with the Sabin family. I came over and found Paul sobbing uncontrollably on the floor. And he looked up at me and he had so much anger in his eyes. He was, he was, he was destroyed. I really think that he changed that night when he got the news about his mother. It was heartbreaking for him. He was devastated. Everything he did was for his mother. It was sad. He was a good kid. After his mother passed away, the drugs became a huge problem. He would stay out all night. It was hard, but what could I do? His mother just died. I guess I just thought he would grow out of it. He was a little crazy. Long nights, lots of parties, but he was a good kid. Just a little... lost? What you have to remember at this time was all the drugs and the fighting. He was still a massive star. The studios just needed to get him back in front of the camera. I was brought in to help Paul get through his problems and get him back to doing what he loved. When tragedy happens, the best way to get through it is to work. Mike acted like he cared, but he didn't. It was all a facade. He was there to get Paul back to making money. Mike didn't care about Paul's health. He never told him to slow down or stop using drugs. The one person standing in Paul's way was Larry. Paul wanted to work. He told me on multiple occasions. I know Larry loved Paul, but Paul needed to work, and Larry was holding him back. 
I didn't want to pressure Paul into returning too soon. He went through a life-changing loss. He needed time to heal. slightly different proposition for you, Amber. What would that include? Um, I'm going to need you to, to get a different man on film for me. Well, I've done film before. Mm. Excellent. Uh, this might be a little bit different. Uh, you're going to get Paul Sabin on film for me. I get what I want. You get the rest. You'll get more than what you want. Well, you sure do look good in my shirt. Are you supposed to be a lion or a tiger? I don't know you couldn't find out. Well, all right then. Thank you. We can stop if you want. No. The video leaked a month ago. What happened after that? I told Paul that I never wanted to see him again and not to contact me. I told him he was lost and that I was not going to be lost with him. Even through all the drugs and the nights of blackouts, I trusted him and thought he would never cheat on me. But after that tape came out, I just couldn't trust him anymore. I'm sorry for my actions. I'm seeking counseling to help me with recent events in my life. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Hey, yo. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm very sorry for what I did. Good luck to you. I want to say that I'm sorry for who all believed in me. You'll never know how important you were to me. This is my last will and testament. I want everything that belongs to me to go to Mary Green. Mary, please forgive me. <laughs> 